In his blog, Datu Sri Najib said Muslims in Malaysia, as well as worldwide, should unite to end the suffering and oppression against their brothers in the two countries. The Prime Minister said throughout 2017, Malaysia continued to be blessed by Allah, remained prosperous, peaceful and harmonious, as well as continued to be a model Islamic country that was influential and vocal in defending Islam and Muslims worldwide. On the Jerusalem issue, he said Malaysia strongly condemned and would never agree with efforts by the United States to recognize it as the capital of Israel. He said the atrocities against the Rohingya were also episodes that deeply affected the Muslims. Thus, Malaysia had played its role as vocal critics in raising the issues not just on ASEAN platform, but also globally. He said Malaysia continued to provide aid to ease the suffering of the Rohingya ethnics, apart from opening its doors for them to share the peace and stability enjoyed by Malaysians in the country, as well as sending aid to the Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh and Myanmar. He said that in February, through the non-governmental organization Yayasan Iklas, 172,500 ringgit in financial aid was delivered via a Bangladeshi NGO to Rohingya refugees at the Kutu Palok and Balukali camps in Bangladesh. The Malaysian Consultative Council of Islamic Organization, MAPIM, and other Islamic NGOs from Malaysia had also sent aid in the form of food and medicine worth 200,000 ringgit to over 140,000 Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh.